Hey, my divas and queens! It's DMQ or Diva Makeup Queen. How do you like my little hoodie today? Hmm, kind of like it. So, um, yes, I have been procrastinating. I'm so bad, but yes, you guys have asked me to do makeup collection for the past five years I've been on YouTube and I have not done it. I have started a series by showing you how to put these Alex drawers together in my back, so make sure you check that video. And I also have done my Wet n Wild collection, my Elf collection, and my Neutral Palettes collection, so check those out. But now, finally, I'm going to show you my entire collection. But it's... I, I got so much stuff, guys. It cannot fit into one video. So this is part one. This is sort of an overview of my things and there's some things that I won't be able to show um, like my desk and my palette collection which is like a whole separate area. So I'm going to start by showing you some of these things that are in the Alex drawers. So let's get started. Let's take a look at our first drawer and see what we find here. This is where all my lips are. Where my lips? My lipstick. I have a lot of Wet n Wild lipstick, as you can see here. And then all the chubby stick things, not chubby sticks, whatever they're called, Revlon lip balm things, they all live here. Oh my goodness, they're overflowing, really. These are some e.l.f. ones. See, these are e.l.f. And I got some L'Oreal over here. And I got some NYX Jumbo pencils. Let's see what else I got. Oh, a lot of the uh, Jordana or Jordana ones and Wet n Wild ones. Basically, anything that looks like chubby sticks, they all go here. Like this one. Oh, look at that color by Jordana. Um, OCC lip tars that I just put in a bag. And some of these new shades. Uh, what is that collection called? I don't know, but I love these shades. Oh, so beautiful. And comes the second drawer. More lip stuff. Look at that. I don't want to pull out too much, but these are all lip glosses. So I just got these bins from 99 cent store and just put all my lip glosses together. Here you can see I've got all my Milani lip gloss collections here, which I've shown you in my past videos. Love these. And here are some random ones. Look at this one is so old, but I still keep it because I just am obsessed with this color. But I don't know if you guys remember when Revlon came out with these awesome uh, lip glosses. And Milani's old ones, I kept a couple just for fun. I love some All May. So sort of mixed brands here. And some, let's see, Ofra here. Yes. But look at this Lorac one. Can you just look at this beauty? I'm just saying, that's gorgeous, no? And here I've got a bunch of the new Ofra and Wet n Wild. Oh, these velvet lip things. I just reviewed it if you want to see it. And I'm about to review these Ofra long lasting lip colors. They're so amazing. Look at that color. Uh, look at this color. Mm. Love it. And some Asian brands. Like I said, I'm not particularly organized. But I try to be. And I have some um, blushes. Jordana cheek tint. And I think I ran out of space, so I just put it here. And there's some brushes here. So that's the second drawer for you. And drawer number three. We have mascara. This is the mascara drawer. Again, overflowing, of course. Lock and seal by e.l.f., which I still haven't opened up. Go here. But here are all my shadow sticks. I love these. Um, a lot of them are from Jordana or Milani. They're great, but I forget to use them sometimes because they're here. But there's some NYX Jumbo Pencils too. Look at these colors. They're so gorgeous. They're awesome as a base or as liner. But look at this one. Yeah. And I think some of the Urban Decay ones are in here too. And here we have more mascara that I have to try out. Now, this is truly an interesting um, drawer because I put all of my masks here. Um, some of you may not know this, but I am a mask collector. I do a lot of masks and all the time. And I collect a lot of them from Asia because they're just awesome for your skin. So those of you who are like, oh, when you have like perfect skin, I don't really. I have a very, very vigorous skincare routine. I do a lot of masking at least several times a week. Um, and if you guys want like a skincare routine for fall skin, write down, let me know. I will be happy to share with you. But you know, a lot of these masks are really good from like Korea and Hong Kong and yeah, so this is my collection. I got a lot and I use them up too. But look at this one. This is a gold one Just for your neck. That's hardcore, right? <laughs> also wanted to mention this uh, Wonder Patch, which I'm gonna do a review on it. Let me know if you're interested, but it's supposed to make your um, 
abdominal strength. So I really want to see if it works. It's from Korea. Oh, this is where all my lipsticks live. And this look a lot neater, doesn't it, than the other drawers? Because this comes with the By Elgory uh, lipstick holder, which is so cute. I don't know if you can see. Let me zoom in for you. It's really, really nice. So that way, they all stay put like that. I have a few of those. They have different colors too. I'll put a link to their website so you can check it out. NYC, Wet n Wild, lots of colors, Ofra. And this is um, Rimmel. MUA, MAC is even here. And just different lip products. Okay, so this is where all my single shadows live. Some of them, again, I put in this little bin from 99 cent store. So I have a bunch of stuff like Sally Girl. Some of this is older, really probably should get rid of it at some point. Like these, remember these Hip L'Oreal? Shadows, I still enjoy looking at them anyway. And then in the bottom, I have Motif. These Motif um, shadows, they're actually really good. I don't know why people don't talk about it. And maybe I should turn around. And then I have these L'Oreal, what are they called? Infallible single shadows. Stila. The ones from um, Physician Formula this year. Maybelline tattoos. Let's see, let's dig deep underneath. We have, oh, some of these Jordana single shadows, which are actually quite good. And underneath also a mix of things. And then here, I don't know if you can see, I have a whole bunch of those Milani single shadows from this past year, I think. Yeah, a lot of single shadows. And I have these naked shadows, which I haven't used. These are um, Urban Decay pigments that I haven't used. L'Oreal, so a bunch of stuff. Okay, we have more by Algary. These are pink, so cute, and they're for lip glosses. So they hold up lip gloss. We have a bunch of um, the famous lip paint by LA Girls that everybody loves. A bunch of these. I have some uh, lip fusion. Nobody really talks about that. And a lot of Wet n Wild. I have some Urban Decay lip gloss. And look, some NYX stuff too. Hey, Mayron. And some Milani. And a bunch of Elf. This is all Elf gloss. Actually, I'm so glad I have these for the Elf because like these can be kind of sticky and hard to store. So this is really perfect. More Elf. And then I put a bunch of stuff, um, lip products that I want to review for you guys in a bag that I can see. I need to review this, all this for you, but haven't had a chance. And then I have a whole bunch of Milani lipsticks here that are just living out of the thing right now. I don't know if you can see, it's just randomly being stocked, I mean, being stored at the moment. All right, this drawer is kind of interesting because um, Basically, it's really scattered because these are all the things that I have either purchased or received from companies that um, I may review. So they live here until I try them out for a while and then review it. So as you can see, I have the Pixie Woo's Real Techniques, um, their new gold, what is it called, Bowl Metals collection, which I have not tried yet, and some of the Wet n Wild collections that I have just done a haul on but haven't reviewed everything and I may review some of these things. I think you guys requested the blush so I might do a review on that and if I've done the review already I'll put a link down below and um, and then like Mayron sent me some stuff which I haven't really tried yet. Stuff like that you know just things that I should look into. Some bare mineral uh, primer I haven't even opened. I might just do a giveaway, I'm not sure. And some lips from Bare Minerals. Once again, have not opened yet, so. Put some things here, Mayron. Ooh, that's cute. And this is the same kind of drawer. Again, things that I got that I have to review or try out and haven't yet. So, there's some stuff from Erno Lazio. A lot of skincare stuff. Uh, Peter Thomas Roth. Some of their stuff is really good skincare. They have their mask, etc. So that's kind of like storage. Do these two drawers.
Alright guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for part 2. Don't forget to subscribe right here so you don't miss any videos. And give me a big thumbs up if you like this kind of video and let me know what other videos you'd like to say. I mean, like to say, like to watch. Um, yeah, DMQ request, hashtag. Hashtag DMQ request. Oh, 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 and hang out with me on social media. Um, on the name Diva Makeup Queen, Instagram, Pinterest, let's see, um, 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 Twitter, Facebook, I hang out there like 24-7, seriously. Or just write me comments down below, I read everything, and I will see you guys next time. Woohoo, woohoo, and bye! Mwah.